Well, this is the holiday edition of uh, Week in Review. Welcome to the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network, just uh, between the services here. I just want to touch base with you on this uh, last Sabbath of the year. Uh, thank you for joining us for this edition of Week in Review. With me is Sheila Hodgkins. How are you doing, Sheila? I'm good. How are you? I'm just fabulous. Uh, got some great holiday plans for today? Or? I do. I, every day's full. Oh, We're right. blessed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know Gannam Hannah has uh, uh, really extensive family plans on this. Uh, I do? <laughs> well, I hope so. <laughs> I have not been invited by anywhere, but no, this, by the way, Merry Christmas to you folks and Merry to you, Christmas. our beloved family of LLBN as well. Um, actually, I'm going to be blessed to spend time with my wife, three children, my son-in-law, and my granddaughter. Um, that's the best times for me. Uh, this time, the entire family at large is not coming together because uh, of COVID. You know, we're keeping distance. But uh, we're going to do a Zoom meeting between all siblings and their families. So we're probably going to have 60 members on Zoom greeting each other, chatting, and so on. So I'm looking forward to that. Well, Do you have plans yourself? Well, of course. Um, I will be heading out after church to uh, Palm Springs to uh, be with extended family for the day. So. You're not inviting us anywhere? Uh, no. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> Next year, maybe. No, I don't think so. <laughs> but thank you for the offer. <laughs> well, we have the verse of the day we'd like to share with you to get things started on uh, this uh, this day. Sheila, what do you got for us? I have Psalms 147, 4, 5, and I hope you don't mind, I wanted to add um, 11. So I'm going to start with Psalms 4, and it says, well, Psalms 147, 3, He heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. He counts the stars and calls them all by name. How great is our Lord. His power is absolute. His understanding is beyond comprehension. And then at the end of the verse, it says, No, the Lord's delight is in those who fear him, those who put their hope in his unfailing love. Mm -hmm. I uh, kind of recognize some uh, attributes of the creator on the, that verse. Well, I mean, God is everywhere. His attributes everywhere in the Bible. Uh, his love, his wisdom, his infinite powers, uh, his attachment to humanity is just so wonderful. This is the mighty God of the universe. Mm. They can turn, you know, that he names the stars, but then he knows us all the day we were conceived. Uh, uh, the God knows us the day we were conceived in our mother wombs. I mean, the, what, what a great God that is. How closer... How closer can we get to anyone beside him or someone who take interest in us as his children from pre-birth? Yes. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, that's why I love this season because it reminds us that Jesus came down for each of us. He knew us by name. He calls the stars by name. How much more does he call us by name and knows every one of our needs and uh, that's why I wanted to say this, because I know there's so many people who wonder where God is, but he's there. He came, Emmanuel, that means God with us. He's right there with you. Well, you know, sometimes we don't think God has been with us. We think we're alone, but we're not. He's there. It's, it is our false perception that, he's, that we're alone, but we're not. He's always with those who call on him. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, what a great promise. What a great assurance that our Father, our God in heaven, is that close to us and that we can call on him anytime. And, and he gave his only son. Amen, which is the greatest gift of all. And, and the yeah. gift that we like to remember here at LLBN, not only during the Christmas, Christmas season, but throughout the year, because there is no gift like it. No, no. Well, many of you have noticed that uh, our programming has changed in the last week, and it's going to continue uh, through the following week, uh, through the, uh, the new year. Uh, it's holiday-related programming, uh, starting with, uh, well, last night, Friday night worship, and the following Friday night worship. 
will uh, have a holiday theme. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll be sure to catch the replay of LLBN Worship uh, here on uh, on the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. Uh, again, there's an amazing schedule that Daryl has put together. I mean, you notice that you're not really seeing your uh, the individual programs two or three or four times. Uh, it's pretty much... Uh, a first time run for for the whole week. Now it's going to repeat in in the next week, but uh, it'll be adjusted. Tell us about uh, the efforts of Daryl. So, uh, Daryl is one of those who is very selfless. Uh, that's one of God's attributes. You know, he loved he loved the people so much. Daryl loved this ministry of God so well, and he go anywhere out of his way to serve anyone he can within this ministry, including strangers. The things he's done. Uh, for others, it's just mind-boggling. But he did prepare a, a, a holiday program, as Marlon stated earlier, uh, that it ends Sunday at midnight. This is a Christmas, I want to be clear. Christmas schedule ends at Sunday midnight, but he also, he has a two and a half hours, uh, uh, the Handel's Messiah program, it's two and a half hours. Uh, and then uh, Saturday night, the Gospel of John, uh, will be played, the movie, and then Sunday, Jesus Christ, the movie. It is six hours covering the whole life of Jesus from birth to, to crucifixion and resurrection. Uh, and there's a lot of other musical Christmas programs uh, interlaced between all these shows I just mentioned. Uh, so don't miss it. Watch LLB and His Word, Christmas holiday season, all throughout Sabbath and till Sunday midnight. Thank you for that update. And Sheila, uh, people can watch LLBN on Roku, on satellite, some on their local cable te uh, television companies. Mm -hmm. And we've got some really fabulous web resources. We do. We do. If they log on to LLBN.tv, they can have it right on their phone, get the app, and um, as well as watch it on Facebook. There's so many different social um, mediums that they can do it. But the best one is LLBN.TV. And you can share that with your family and friends. And you can, if you missed a program, you can locate it right there. It's organized. And you can always call us um, if you need help finding the program you want. Again, I'm on that website. They can uh, find all of the uh, foreign language channels and actually view them online. You know, Marlon, you're absolutely right. Our web is like a television tuner. When you go to LLBN.TV, in the homepage, it gives you access to the latest program, so you can click and watch at your convenience or click and forward a link to a friend. But as you said, all our channels are available with a click away from each other. They're listed by names and language. Uh, but also, every single program LLBN produced from day one to present are all archived under categories. So if you click under programs, you notice a huge uh, uh, study material available to you at your fingertips or to use for, for Bible study with a friend or to forward to someone. All available to all our viewers worldwide. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is all possible because of your generosity. Uh, this is the last Sabbath of the year, and uh, you just well, got one more week to take advantage of the tax uh, gifts that, that are available at the end of the year by uh, participating in end year of year giving. Now, some of uh, you are interested in uh, like trust plans, uh, so you can turn that idea, turn your generosity into a lifetime income. Uh, so if you're looking for the ways to help LBN in its mission of sharing this gospel around the world, you should not feel uh, like you're choosing between a philanthropic uh, goal and a financial security. That should never be a, a question uh, in, in your giving. Uh, the Lord wants you to be comfortable in the giving. The Lord doesn't uh, expect you to suffer through giving. Uh, this is where the family comes in. You know, the, the benefits include regular payments for life. Or if you uh, want to include your 
spouse or children. Uh, you can fund it jointly uh, with a rate of return up uh, to 8.6%. Uh, that's pretty hard to find these days. Also comes with a variety of tax benefits, including a federal income tax charitable deduction well, when you itemize. And it is, leaves a legacy of support to help the ministry of the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout the world. So if you want to add some loose cash with that, well, that would be appreciated too. So for more information, call Jay Hughes at the number at the bottom of the screen, and uh, he'll help you with a variety of uh, benefit packages, uh, different plans to uh, fit any need that you have uh, to uh, wrap up this year efficiently. So thank you for your uh, kindness and your generosity, and especially your prayers. Uh, this, this is really the, where the power comes from. Prayers is the essence of everything yeah. that we do here. Well, um, let's talk about the letters. Brenda from Illinois writes, Thank you for the Christ-centered programs and music. I've enclosed an offering to help with broadcast expenses. Blessings, Brenda. Well, thank you so much, Brenda, for your, your wonderful gift to LVN. We'd love to pray for you. Okay, I'll do it. Uh, Father God, thank you for love and heart that uh, Brenda has for this ministry and for the offering that she made to this ministry. Father, we thank you for the viewers who are like Brenda, who continue to support this ministry. But special blessings on all our donors and Brenda for supporting this ministry, for loving you so much, for wanting to reach to others. Guard her, Father, from harm and evil. Bless her with more programming here from LLB, and let her be a blessing who those becomes in contact with her. In your name we ask this. Amen. Mm. Again, I'm, explain to us once again what the $150 an hour is about. Glad to. So first I want to take the time out to thank all those of you who have been given to the ministry of LLBN, and we thank you for that precious love gift you've been supporting us with, whether one-time or reoccurring gifts. So big thank you for all that. Uh, the $150 basically covers entire operation per hour. From all our distributions, from the satellite time we lease, to the fiber optics we lease, to the cost of programming, productions, utilities, legal fees, and there's a whole gamut of services. We take our cost and we amortize it over you know, broke it down to the hourly cost. That's what it really comes down to. And when we tend to go over that, we renegotiate contracts and rates, and we try to squeeze it and tie it and make it only $150 an hour. So your gift of $150 an hour covers LLB and expenses, and it helps carry us worldwide for that entire hour, which is phenomenal. So once again, those of you who have been given Big thank you. May the Lord bless you richly for that love and support. Many of you out there is capable and blessed and can give more or can give for the first time. So we ask you and remind you that LLBN is supported strictly by viewers like you. So I invite you, if you have not given yet to this ministry, to write that check or call our toll-free number. They're open right now and make a gift uh, or simply uh, visit our website and make an online donation. We love you and thank you all for supporting us here at LLVN and Merry Christmas. We have supporters every hour and we'd like to mention um, the supporters for th these couple of hours. And we'd like to thank the Lutz family from California, the Gray family from Tennessee, the Radke family from Washington and the Knight family from Oklahoma. God bless you. Happy holidays from all of us to you from the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. See you next time.